This is not an ordinary wristwatch which you can wear around in your day-to-day -day activities. This is a bio wristwatch which I developed to monitor a user heartbeat and body temperature. With the IoT integration which I built into it, one can actually log in the total heartbeat or the temperature of a user or even a patient in a hospital over time. I love the actual look of this assembly and in this video, I'm going to show you how I assemble this project and also discuss a bit on the lines of code which I arranged together to carry out the special tasks of monitoring one's heartbeat and temperature and further interface this recorded data in an application. Previously, I developed a heartbeat sensor which is Arduino based as I use a 433 MHz RF module for my communication. If you are one of my subscribers, you will remember that I mentioned that the limit of transmission for the RF based system was 100 meters as I tested the project alongside with a friend while moving around the environment. And for this build, I will eliminate the use of an RF module as the use of ESP board will be appreciated. And if you are not yet a subscriber, consider subscribing to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification button so that you'll be notified once I make upload on the next project just like this. Now back to the project. I started off this project with the first assembly on a breadboard as I used Arduino Uno, OLED display and my starting 0102 sensor. The project was working fine even though I have not yet calibrated the sensor value as I am using a 100k NTC thermistor for my temperature measurement. I now reassembled the project using ESP32 board and also assembled other materials that I will be using for the casing since the whole setup is now ready for use. Here is the code as I will explain them. First, I included all the libraries that I will be needing for this build. Pretty much everything have been done in the rest of the code using the Adafruit library. As it is easy to open the example code for the OLED display and the example code for the mas 3012 sensor. What was done in this code was to combine the previous two codes together and also add it on my Blink setup. I added my authentication key from Blink and you can always get yours if you want to display your own data on a Blink application. This is my hotspot name and my password, so input yours if you are going to be building upon this code. Other declarations we are made on the global variable, just as you can see. In the setup function, I started off with the serial begin in order to view my data on a serial monitor. The OLED display, the sensor and the blink app were initiated in the setup function. Here at the loop, the necessary calculations were made in order to get the data that I need as comments were also used in order to explain their purpose. Having gone through the rest of the whole code, I hit the upload button as I'm now ready to complete the rest of the project. I disassembled the setup as I start mapping out the components for their packaging criteria. I measured out all the dimensions for the external part as I cut out their space and have them fitted. I apply spray paint on the casing as I have them looking just like this. Now it's time to complete the wristwatch as I measured out the length that I will be needing and I have them sealed in place. I use a magic gum as they call it in my area for the hook as I have it stitched up for me. I use wire to make my connections for flexibility inside the casing. I soldered them in place at the ESP32 board and also I powered the circuit using a 3.7 lithium battery and a boost converter that steps up the voltage up to 5 volts. Having done that, I'm now ready to seal up the rest of the system. Sadly for me, I realized that the system would fit improperly, so I had to remove the tape covering the pinout as I cut them out for proper fit. Now, the assembly was well fitted as I now have my project looking like this.
On testing the project, I realized that I'm not getting reading when the sensor is placed on the wrist of my hand or any flesh part of the body. I only get reading whenever I place the sensor on my palm or on the tip of my finger. I was really worried about that as I went online to see related projects. I found out from few videos that Mastati 102 sensor is built for finger measurement and having that in mind, I realized the reason why I wasn't getting ready when I placed the sensor on my flesh. Some people mentioned that those sensors that has green lead in them have the ability to measure the heartbeat using any part of the body and as such, I had to note that out in order to make a new order for my sensors. With that being said, I tested my system on my fingertip and I have my data logged on the application which I created for it. Bearing in mind the limitation of this sensor that I'm using for this build, I will hope to review this project using a 3D casing and a new sensor that will work perfectly for my wrist and any part of the body. I will include a ROTC module for real time value in my new build and other cool features which I can always add. So feel free to drop to me on the comment section some cool features which you want me to add on this new project. You will get the rest of the code and schematic diagram on the video description. So don't forget to like and also share this video with your friends. I will appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this which are coming up and also remember to click the bell icon so that you too will give you an update once I make upload on these coming videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next project. Do have a blissful day.